double. Make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James! Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! Surrender now, or prepare to fight! Me! Oh, that's right! Alright, welcome back, guys, to Team Rocket Minecraft. You're here with your boys, Jesse and James. So, a lot of new things have happened on the Helix, and we gotta go through them really quick, because we don't have a lot of time to discuss everything in depth. So, to start off, uh, I have become a builder. So my building app on the Helix server forums has been accepted and if you see when I talk I if I just say hey yeah, there, I got the little builder sign by my name so basically uh, yeah I'm helping out the Helix server with my builds uh, my latest build is Ludicolo uh, as you can see Jesse's hopping around on the top of him uh, he's a, just a giant Pokemon for now we haven't really had uh, any concept or anything to do with him yet. Uh, you can go on the inside. We might add some stuff in his belly that are, can be interactive for players, but for now he's just a statue. Uh, moving on. So the Helix server has been updated to 3.1, so uh, which is cool, and 1.7. So with 1.7 uh, for builders, which is good, we get all these new blocks, and for custom NPCs, uh, we also get a bunch of new blocks, which is cool. Uh, we can go through that in a different episode. Uh, but for now, we're going to discuss the new Pixelmon update, which is 3.1. So with the new Pixelmon update, there's a couple of new things we got here, guys. So we got we got a new animation. So when we throw just like that, Jess has been long, long bombing her uh, Archaeops off the Ludicolo. But as you saw, the ball kind of bounces up, and it does that. And on the sidebar, it kind of shows you what ball the Pokemon were caught with. Like uh, this Pidgeot, I think, is caught with a dust ball, and then as you see it, you can throw it out, and it pops out. Um, there's a bunch of other cool stuff that they added. Uh, there's double battles, but they haven't been implemented on the server yet. Uh, do you remember anything else, Jesse, that they added in the Pixelmon update? Um, it's minor, but I guess when you hold the balls down, it's yeah, everything has a new look, really. The the whole Pokeballs, all the uh, some of the items have some new looks to them. Uh, you can do a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. Fire starters, go! <laughs> oh, we want to get Fessa Rap Ludicolo. Okay, so. Um, we can do more uh, about the Pixelmon update in a different episode, but the basics that you need to know are basically they've redone the animations and they've redone the textures and they've added uh, double battles and they've added some side mods. Uh, the Eevee Ivies mod, which we'll go over in a different episode, and if you guys don't already know, Wonder Trade's been out for a while, but Wonder Trade's pretty cool. Uh, we also go that over that one in a different episode. Uh, so, what else I'd like to do today, uh, in our last video, my last building video, which was for my builders app, uh, we did a giveaway. So, the, we random orged it, uh, and the winner of the giveaway uh, for this episode is Vessel Wrap. So, uh, I'm trying to get him to come to the Ludicolo because he doesn't know he's won yet. This is a bit of a surprise. We're going to try to get him to uh, come here. I just got to message him. Uh, don't tell him he's won yet. Come to the junction between. Come the to the boat of the grass. Come, come to the boat. Uh oh. On grass town side. Alright, alright, he's coming over. So we'll get him to see the little Kolo, and then we'll take him to the top, and then we'll do uh, every episode I think we're going to do this, guys. So uh, next episode, we're also giving away a level 100 Pokemon. So if you want to uh, have a chance to win, make sure you comment your names below, your in-game names below in the, in the comment section. We actually got a lot last time. I was really expecting, like, one name, so it wouldn't have been a contest. But we actually got seven, so I was pretty impressed. So, yeah, I was one of them. 
So yeah, six. six, six. Jesse was trolling. So yeah, after this, we're gonna go uh, explore my uh, building test that got me into the builder position. So we're gonna go explore what all Sharpie Domen's all about, and we'll show you guys uh, Sharpie Domen and what we did there. So Fessel Rap is uh, just seeing the Ludicolo, so we're just gonna go inside. Go inside. He calls me Blommies. I don't know why. I pronounce it Bloomies. Uh, Bloomies, if anybody wondering, Bloomies is short for Bloomingdale's, which is an underwear company. I don't know where I got the name from, but I just, I don't know. We just formulate it from when we were kids. And if you want to know the secret behind uh, uh, Jesse's name, uh, uh, one of the dogs that was our neighbor's, uh, his name was Drifter, and we played it with him all the time. So... That's a good idea. A quest in here would be cool. Uh, go up the ladder. All right, all right. Are you gonna be the one to tell him he's won? Yeah, I got it. I got it already typed out and everything. It's ready to go. Oh, the reason I'm flying around is because I'm in creative mode. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Surprise! Okay, you tell them the rules and I'll explain it. So basically, Fesso's gonna choose. So with our level hundred giveaways, the new thing that we processed six, is six, right? So yeah, we have I have six random level hundreds in my inventory, or in my Pokemon like belt, and he gets to choose a number between one and six, and whichever poke he chooses, I'm gonna throw it out, and he, that's the one he gets. And he definitely just just fell right off. <coughs> He chose seven. Okay. There is no seven. So he loses. <laughs> Auto loss. We will... We'll give him one more chance. Number one. Okay. So, as you can see in my inventory, number one is a Munchlax. So we got a level 100 Munchlax. <laughs> so he's picked a level 100 Munchlax. Oh, God. <laughs> so, oh you ready to trade it? Okay, let me just <coughs> grab a trade machine. Alright, Fessel. Just plop it somewhere. All right, come over here, Fezzo. You have won the level 100 Munchlax. I kind of miss this guy. He was mine originally. He was our like little... Carry here. around poke. He was our little uh, troll Pokemon. He's actually quite big for a level 100 Munchlax. Look at, his, look at his cute little face. How can you say no? How can you say no to that little face? He's probably trying to find something to trade you. <laughs> Tell him if he watches the video, he can see what other Pokemon were in the pool. Yeah. Alright, here you go, Fessor Rap. Uh, level 100 Munchlax. Oh, he just traded me a Bulldor. <laughs> so I guess I'm getting an Evo. You tell him congratulations, because I can't, because I'm in the Evo. Well, there's another Gigalith we can <laughs> we can add to the squad. Mm. What nature does this Gigalith have? Sassy.
All right, so I'll just toss the big lift in the random Pokemon section, which is here. All right. So, like I said, guys, uh, in the next episode, we'll be giving away another level 100, just like we did. There'll be six to choose from. You get to pick a number between one and six, and then that's pretty much uh, what you're going to get. So, now we're just going to do some quick uh, exploration of uh, my steps that I took to become Builder. So, um, I'm actually going to warp uh, to the build test. So, as you guys know from my last episode, uh, uh, people were questioning the legitimacy of my builds. So what I did was I created a video of my personal world. But then they came and they got me and they said, okay, here, Bloomies, do a test for us. So I did a test. And they wanted me to first to create a chestnut. And I did that. And then they said, okay, uh, you, I've proved my Pokemon building skills and I've moved on to uh, a house. So with the house, I kind of incorporated a uh, Pokemon build and uh, a house theme idea. So I made a house of Sharpie Doman, as you can see there. There's a shiny Sharpedo sticking out of the house. Uh, on the outside of the house, we have some cool fountain structures and some race cars and a little jet plane. But uh, the inside of the house is what's really cool. So. Uh, I didn't end up completing it because I did get accepted, so I stopped building. Uh, so it says accepted, grats, message Dan, which did, and then swag by Charles. So if you look, it's the house of Sharpie Doman. Sharpie Doman is a shiny, shiny, shiny Sharpedo, which is hard to say. Try saying that ten times. Shiny Sharpedo, shiny Sharpedo. Anyways, so Sharpie Doman uh, was the shiny Sharpedo I got from Moto, and. Uh, I first wanted a Sharpedo after the Captain Drake quest when there was an enormous one you had to fight. I thought it was just the coolest thing. Now I own one and I built a house around it. So if we come inside, there's a double entrance door. There's blood everywhere because obviously Sharpie Doman uh, is a killer. And as you can see, it's pretty dingy. We got some skulls, we got some uh, cobwebs. And then if you come into the library I made, we got a PC in the corner, and then we got a couple uh, custom new custom NPC figures, which we can go over in a different episode. But that's a bench; it looks pretty cool. Um, and if, and if you read the main sign, it says "Folklore: Sharpie Doman tells tales of pirates searching for this elusive beast in the mighty seas. When Sharpie Doman appears, torrents of wind and rain erupt into a blistering tempest, and uh, capable of in swallowing entire ships." Only one adventurer is able to defeat this creature, and that adventurer is you. So it's kind of I kind of set this up as if you were to get a Sharpie Doman from an actual quest. So if the quest wasn't implemented, you'd get a shiny Sharpedo. Uh, and then there's a couple more signs. This is the den. A chilling sensation fills the room, and it tells you to get comfortable while you can. If you come into the main area, we've got some more custom NPCs, uh, some more blood. The observatory is upstairs, and over here we've got a storage room with a secret entrance, which we'll get to last. And then we got a couple bedrooms, a couple more signs. Uh, knock knock, who's there? Death. That's a pretty good, funny anti-joke because, yeah, you can't reply once you're dead. So, and then we got a couple more uh, signs that lead on to the Sharpie Doman quest. So, I was once a noble and glorious sailor until one day everything changed. On the horizon I saw a pink streak of light and I knew it was him within seconds our ship was tossed and turned and was beginning to sink. Sharpie Doman had put a massive hole in our hull. And then if you turn around, it says the secret to defeating Sharpie Doman lies in the bottom of my ship, if you can find it. You can be the one who saves us all. So basically, it's setting somebody up to defeat uh, a Sharpie Doman and then ultimately capturing their own shiny Sharpedo. And I am feeling lucky and nothing's happening to me. <laughs> and then we have the top secret room. You press the button. And then you go in the top secret room. I just want to make sure I can, like, I can, yeah, I can still build here. Okay, so I want to get that door back. Because the secret room is a trick room. So if you put the door, pop it open. We have uh, chests with no items in them, skulls, 
a warp to the fire pit, and then trick room 92 because uh, you, you can't get out. So if this was implemented, it'd be really funny because a lot of people would be getting stuck in there. And then if we lastly, if we come up the stairs, we have a bit of, uh, this is called the observatory. I didn't really finish this, uh, but here's a guillotine that I made. Uh, the guillotine, all the heads that are collected from the guillotine, feed the sharpedo that are in the sharpedo man tank. So again, if this was in the game, uh, there'd be a sharpedo spawner, and we'd put it in the tank right there. And then if you come over here, I built a little redstone door, and then another door, and then you can come into the sharpedo's mouth, and it says jump, I dare you. You won't die from this jump, but you'll get pretty close to death. And then, so we're inside the sharpedo of the mouth, and the last acti or one of the last activities I made in the house was there's a lot, there's a master ball that is lost in these bins, and as you can see, there's so many bins, you just got basically a maze, and you got to keep clicking them to find the right one. So last but not least, we're going to go back to that storage room. So if we come up and come back over to the storage room, uh, and we hop down here, uh, we're in the altar room of Sharpie Doman. So, uh, we have a sacrifice must be made, pray Sharpie Doman. So you found the secret entrance, eh? Good luck getting out alive. I've made it really creepy so that uh, people, uh, so it's kind of like a scary theme. So we've got the Sharpie Doman altar, we have the lever, and then uh, we have a sign that says swag that I can't remove. <laughs> and then we have weapon storage, and then we have the fire pit. Don't, and that says don't fall in. So back to the lever. We pull the lever. Uh, the fire pit opens up, and uh, so many of the admins and the mods had fun because we asked some people to test this out. Some of the regular trainers, and we brought them over here. And as you can see, I died here because they TP'd me in here and then took away my fly, and then I burned to death. So we, a lot of sacrifices have been made here. Um, uh, so Sharpie Doman's very happy. He he's really fat because we did we did kill a lot of people in that pit. Um, so yeah, that's it. So this is the build that got me uh, that my build test that eventually I proved myself worthy enough to be builder and yeah, it worked out. So now if you guys see me around on the Helix server, I'll hopefully be building and making the server better for you guys. And then. If you have any ideas or suggestion on future builds that I should make, please leave a comment below. And we're going to end this episode off here. Next episode, guys, uh, again, we'll be always giving away a level 100 every episode. But uh, next episode, we'll try to get and go through more of the Pixelmon uh, update and what that was all about and the new custom NPC stuff that is being added. And then we're also going to go over the renovations uh, that we've been making to Grass Town and to Ground Town. And lastly, as you saw, the giant Ludicolo is there for you guys. So explore it, uh, enjoy it. It's a good uh, sight to see. If you have any, uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys have any other like Pixelmon builds or statues that you guys want me to make, leave them in the comments below, and I'll run it through the admins, Dan and uh, Matt. And hopefully we can see some more Pokemon around uh, the server, make it spruce it up a bit, uh, get some good uh, eye candy, nail in some of those style points. Uh, so yeah. Peace.